Hey guys, Scott with MSM Adventures here and I am super excited to bring you my kayak trailer build. I think it is the best trailer out there for kayak for me. So this is a good video to give you guys some ideas. Uh, I've been getting some requests here to do this video. Behind you, behind me, is the kayak trailer build, uh, my winter project that I did. So uh, I'm gonna do a full walk around with you, uh, show you what I did, hopefully it gives you some ideas. Um, I feel like the kayak trailer market, um, the, the, the what you can buy off a showroom floor is either limited in features or very, very, very pricey. So uh, we're gonna flip around here and do a little walk around. I'm going to show you the inside, the outside, what I've done, what I have, uh, what I probably would do differently. And uh, we'll go from there. But I think it turned out pretty well. So I'm excited for you guys to see it. We'll talk to you in just a second. Hey guys, Scott with MSM Adventures. Just uh, going to put this in the middle or somewhere in the trailer video. But uh, you can see it out the back window. Um, trailer's really nice. I love the visibility in the van. We're just heading out of the neighborhood, and uh, I love that the boat is in the perfect view right out the back window uh, on this uh, Chrysler Town & Country minivan, and it's uh, pretty sweet that you can see everything, what's going on with the boat. It rides very nice. Um, this neighborhood is super bumpy, so it might show some bumps back there, but it really does ride nice for, for being a uh, cheap and light trailer, so. All right guys, so welcome back to my trailer build. I have it all stickered up and ready to go here. I've used it for a couple of months now. I wanted to wait to do this review until I had a couple thousand miles on it. I did take it from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, up through the UP and around uh, to Alpena, Michigan for um, a kayak trip. So I'm just gonna do kind of a quick walk around and I'll try to keep this short. I get a little long-winded, especially on something that I've uh, worked pretty hard on and, uh, and I enjoy talking about. But we'll kind of walk around the outside and then I'll open up the inside and show you um, what's going on in there as well. So this is started out as a Harbor Freight Hallmaster utility trailer. Uh, just the uh, lighter weight, the 1100, I think it's 1190 pound uh, overall GVW. And it's a kit that you put together. It comes red. Um, I have painted it silver and added the Harbor Freight jack wheel. Um, it's kind of cheap and simple. There's nothing very, they're not, you know, the trailer is what it is and it's a pretty good little kit for what I needed it for. So I think uh, it worked out really well. I painted it silver. As you'll see through here, I've got some touch up to do from where I scraped it uh, doing the build. But at this point, I'm gonna wait until I uh, put it up for the winter. So um, I've got front doors and front door and back door built the same way. This door flips down. Um, I've got cam locks on them um, that work really well, the combination locks, so I don't need a key to get in and out of them. So if I've already got my stuff stowed away in the kayak, I can still get in and out, uh, put the dolly in and so forth. Um, so we'll just kind of walk around here. We've got the, the metal frame at the bottom is all the Harbor Freight wheel got uh, some stickers that didn't make it through the rain and this does need a bath now a little bit since I did uh, take it but figured I wanted to show it to you that I've actually used it and not just uh, put it in the garage so um, it is four by eight so it's a four foot wide by eight feet long and then I've got um, just under six feet total height um, for these top rack so I did put my brother's native uh, pedal kayak on top very strong, very sturdy, and you can see in here I reinforced everything with metal brackets. I've got the Yakima pad and, and racks on top that I used to have on the van when I car topped, um, but I mounted it right to the side. Very sturdy and used the fence rail um, brackets that come with the trailer at the bottom. They make it 
so you can design so you can just have like a little uh, wood wood fence on the trailer but all of the all the box on the top is all custom made using either uh, pressure treated weather uh, lumber or um, painted um, plywood and two by fours so there's the back door and I'll open that up in a minute but it's got the LED lights that come stock with it down here you'll see the casters and that is actually this trailer frame folds up so that it can be stored very uh, simply in the garage so in the winter time I'm gonna pop take the box off and uh, lean it up against the wall in the garage take the uprights off and I'll be able to get another car in the garage so because right now this is taking up a car space in the garage and it's well worth it so Again, the doors, uh, these bumpers right here, this is just so if I fold the door all the way down, it hits those bumpers on the ground. And as you can see, I love my stickers, so I have it all stickered up with the MSM Adventure stuff. Um, four, four lug wheels, and they have just the, uh, what they call China Bomb tires on it, but I did buy a spare, and I did not have any problems uh, within a couple thousand miles so far, so... They say limit it, your speed to 55 miles an hour. Not recommending that you go any faster, but I will say it does uh, it does go faster, and I haven't had any problems. But uh, they do say the recommended speed for the Harbor Freight trailer is 55 miles per hour. Um, up top, I made these little carpeted bunks and screwed them in so the the kayak fits very nicely on it, and you can kind of run down there on the bunks and then just uh, d-ring tire downs works really good just uh just two two straps i mean this thing's not going anywhere you can see i'm gonna pull and shake on it and the whole thing is the whole trailer goes with it instead of instead of the kayak so um this works out pretty well and i'm able to keep the nice thing about the trailer i like is that i can keep all geared up so i've got my lawrence fish finder on here got the seat i used to use the little gear ties um, I even leave my uh, tackle boxes magneted in there, and that can keep my black pack on. So it works out pretty well. Uh, a lot less setup and tear down every time I go, and uh, that has been really nice because it just makes the kayak so much more usable. I did car top on top of the van last year, as you've probably seen in my other videos, and uh, it works, but it's not ideal. So um, Again, just uh, let's see. We're use it uses the uh, smaller ball, one and seven eighths ball, and uh, we're gonna just give you another shot here. Got the casters on the other side, um, stickered up, and I've just kind of added a few nice little touches, like the Yeti bottle opener, because when you're done fishing and you get home, you want to be able to open your beer right away. <laughs> and yes, I've got the uh, load bars, the Yakima bars, and uh, roller kit for I mean I can fit another three kayaks on top and it's really sturdy it's really well you know it's well built I, I built this thing like a brick outhouse so I uh, got a little reflectors on the side underneath there so you got a little bit of side uh, uh, side light help at, at night also this uh, YouTube the decal is uh, black reflective, so at night it really it just lights up like it's a flashlight. It's awesome, and I've got that on the side and on the back, along with my other favorite stickers here, and uh, and also reflectors up top too. So got the LED lights down below, then the reflectors, and also this is reflective on the kayak. So I just figure you can't be too safe, especially if you end up traveling at night, which I don't do a ton of, but at night I want to be seen so it's kind of the same thing I did with the motorcycle with all the bright LEDs you want to be seen so I've got my Austin kayak safety flag and uh, that's about it for the outside let's see as I, I'll open up the inside and I'll show you what's going on in there and uh, we'll go from there so these little cam locks put my code in here twist that side put my code in here twist this side and drops down I've just got it right now I've probably come up with something a little bit different but this works pretty well to keep it from going all the way down just having a little uh, some paracord and a uh, and a clip there you can see inside I think I'm gonna take some of these uh, 
tubs out for you guys to see. But I do have rod holders in the side. Another little Harbor Freight goodie right here with LED light that comes on on both sides. I did that front and back, both sides. They're super cheap at Harbor Freight and well worth it. So I will uh, probably leave that on. I'm going to take some of the tubs out and I'll show you the front and back opened up in just a second. So we'll be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so now I just opened up and pulled out some of the stuff that I have inside the trailer so you can get a good idea of how it's built inside. Um, I do have the two build videos um, that I did over the winter that I'll link in the description box below so you can kind of see it uh, when it's in different stages of being done. So it'll give you some ideas in case you want to do your own. But uh, these three tubs just came out of the back and the two tubs and the ladder uh, step came out of the front. So let's uh, take a little look inside and uh, you can kind of see what's going on. So again, I've got the uh, little Harbor Freight switch on lights that really uh, come in handy at night. I've got the rod holders on both sides and uh, holds more rods than I have. <laughs> I still have space for, you can see the cooler and the spare tire up there and the uh, kind of custom dolly that I made for my kayak in case I have to take it any distance um, to get it launched. So, but two by four construction, like I say, this thing is beefed up and reinforced. Got two by fours everywhere and angle uh, supports in most of the places that have any, there's any vulnerability. So they've got lots of cross supports up top. I can stand on it and walk on the top of the trailer uh, with no problem. And it just uh, really works out well to have all the storage. So you go camping, you're going fishing, um, you know, you want to take all your stuff, whether you've got a minivan or not. It's really nice to be able to be able to pack so much stuff in here plus three kayaks and still have all the room in the in the car so i can still take dogs and uh, meadow and mandy and i and uh, have plenty of plenty of space so this works out really well if i were to do it again i would probably maybe make it just a couple inches shorter because it does uh, it's a little bit tall so I'll double check i think it is 20 yeah it's 24 inches high so i just made it so that it's a standard four feet these doors are four feet by two feet so i might shave it down a couple of inches if i were to do it again but again i've got room for those two tubs right in front here still the spare still cooler and plenty of room for <laughs> for for other stuff and junk and luggage and things like that so it really you know and those roughneck tubs are they hold a ton i love those things keep water out but uh i was amazed on this trailer i and everything you see that's not painted is weather treated and everything that you see is painted is not weather treated so so this the non-painted interior is weather treated lumber and then i went to the non to get better wood to be able to prime and paint so it's all outdoor paint and primer that i used the, for the gray and uh really has worked out well and but anyway i did uh, I traveled about 500 miles in the rain coming back from michigan and I wasn't sure what to expect. I had uh, a sticker here that didn't make it, that wasn't uh, up for the challenge, but I think that is the only casualty. So uh, it was dry inside. I didn't caulk and seal it, um, but I could, but I was going to wait and see, you know, whether that would be necessary or something I wanted to do. But I think at this point, you know, it just really works out well. So uh, again, these, these doors work out pretty good. I got the bumpers there, so they hit on the trailer. So if you want to set the tubs on there or whatever, there's, there is some support there. Uh, works out really, really nice. So I would definitely welcome your comments and questions. And if you want, uh, you know, any, any information on any of the lumber that I used or, um, like I say, most of it is Lowe's and Home Depot. Those cam locks I got off of Amazon. They weren't cheap, but they just work so well. I mean, it's just so nice to be able to just, you know, put it up and twist it on. And not have to worry about it like that so i think it turned out pretty good you know how i love my stickers so i've got stickers everywhere may or may not be your taste but i uh, got the msm since we don't need a license plate here for anything under i think it's 3500 pounds in wisconsin uh didn't didn't need to register it um, i do have a title from from harbor freight um but uh yeah works out pretty well so if you guys have any questions you know where to find me <laughs> So, all right, I will, I know I'm going long. I'll show you one more shot of the inside here, with the lights on. And 
I'm happy with how it turned out. Let me know what you guys think. Please uh, give me a like and subscribe if you haven't had an opportunity to subscribe to our channel. And we'll show you some uh, on the lake kayaking stuff. We do on this channel, I do kayaking, um, camping, a lot of RC stuff. I love RC airplanes and boats. And uh, that's where to find us. So I hope you guys are having a great day. Hope you guys like this video and I hope it gave you some great ideas. And I'll just back up here for one last shot. There you go. All right. Hope you like it. Because I sure do. Sure has worked out well for me. I'm excited. Peace out, people. And have a great day.